Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to simply explain on our Q highlights. So when we talk of our Q highlights, what are they? So our Q highlights are just organic compounds. So these are just organic compounds. Okay, one, that's the first thing you need to take note of. These are just organic compound, one, and then these organic compounds, they contain a, a bond, they contain a bond with a group, seven element, with a group, seven elements. So when we talk of group seven elements what are we simply talking about so when we talk of group seven elements we are talking about elements like fluorine we are talking about elements like chlorine we are also talking about elements like bromine and also iodine all the group seven elements they bond with these organic compounds to form what we are calling um alkyl halides what else are you supposed to know about our Q highlights? So our Q highlights, which we are discussing right now, okay, our Q highlights, okay. So our Q highlights are also known as uh, what we are calling hello alkanes. So they are also known as hello alkanes. So wherever you see the word hello alkanes, you are simply uh, talking about molecules that contain a bond with a group 7 element. For example, if I was to draw something like this, so this is a, an organic molecule, we know that at every junction there is a carbon. And for this organic compound, let's say there was a bond here with chlorine. So since there is a bond here with Crawling, this is an example of an alkyl halide. And then we can also talk about another example of an alkyl halide. Let's say we have um, this molecule there. So this is our molecule there. And this molecule is also having a bond with um with a group seven element for example let's say we have bromine this is also an example of an alkyl halide so another example of an alkyl halide i can give let's say i have this molecule and automatically this molecule is having a bond with uh with let's say at this junction we have a blue bond with chlorine we also have a bond with bromine this is also another example of an alkyl halide so there are so many examples that i can give which we can talk about and these examples can vary depending on the molecule which you have been given like in this case i can give this one to be my um, another example of an alkyl halides like this guy here this is also another example of an alkyl halides okay like we have said uh when you talk of these alkyl halides they simply have a general formula okay so when we talk of the general formula of this alkyl halides we are simply talking about how the the trends which they have so for example you have an ara which is a carbon chain and then this carbon chain is attached to what we can call an x okay so this is an x so this x can simply stand for uh this x can simply stand for bromine it can simply be uh fluorine it can be chlorine uh, it can also be iodine okay so this is just the simple general formula of alkyl halides which each one of us is supposed to uh to to take note of so what we are simply saying is that this alkyl halides they have a bond they have a bond with what we are calling 
the halogens okay they have a bond with what we are calling the halogens like i have said when we talk of halogens we are just simply talking about the group seven elements okay now so what else are we supposed to know about uh, alkyl halides so alkyl halides can be classified so let's look quickly look at classification okay so this alkyl halide can be simply classified in two different groups alkyl halides can be uh, can be classified in two different groups depending on the on the carbon to which they are attached depending on the carbon to which they are attached okay so for example these alkyl halides can be um, can be represented in that category one degree which is another one which is two degree and another one which is three degree so this one is just referring to primary okay this is primary that one is simply secondary yeah there we have secondary and the last one is known as tertiary so these are the three groups in which these uh, alkyl halides can be classified they can be secondary tertiary or primary so wherever you see a one degree is referring to the primary and when you talk of two degree we are referring to the secondary three degree we are referring to tertiary all this depends on what we are calling a, a, a carbon of attachment so all this is due to the carbon okay is due to the nature of the carbon to which to which the halides okay to which the halogen is attached okay to which the halogen is attached okay so when you talk of classifying the 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 alkyl halides you need to look at um you need to look at the carbon of attachment so let me quickly give an example of what i'm simply talking about okay for example let's say i have this is my ara group so this ara group automatically we know that this is a carbon chain so this carbon chain is attaching itself to a carbon so there is a carbon somewhere there so let me quickly write the carbon so let's say this is our carbon here so this carbon is the carbon of attachment so when you look at this carbon you're going to find that let's say we have the hydrogen there okay we have another hydrogen there and then we have a chlorine there so in this case this is a what a primary okay in this case this is a what a primary so the general formula for this can be written as r and then you have um, a c there then you have the h there you have another h there and then you have an x there of which we truly know that this x is simply standing for what we are calling it can be bromine it can be fluorine it can be chlorine it can be iodine okay so so long when you look at this guy this hydrogen this hydrogen it is one degree so this is what we are calling the primary okay so when we talk of the other classification which is the secondary okay so the secondary you can have this is your carbon of interest and this carbon of interest is having one the carbon chain there meaning there is a carbon there and two there is also another carbon there the carbon chain and another carbon chain there so if you look at this you find that let's say a bromine attach itself there and then we have hydrogen somewhere there so in this case if you look at 
this the presence of this guy and that guy this can be a carbon chain and that's also a carbon chain so in this case this is two degrees so this is what a secondary so this can be classified to be what secondary as usual the general formula can be r there another r there then you have an h and there you have an x of which i've mentioned what an x stands for the last classification that i can talk about is um the tertiary uh classification so when you talk of uh tertiary let's say you have an arrow group there and then this arrow group is having a bond with a carbon which is this side here and this also carbon this same carbon of interest is having another arrow group which is there and then this same um, carbon of interest is having another arrow group there so you find one two three uh, arrow groups there so when you talk of this this you can refer to let's say we have uh, iodine there so this is three degrees and this is an example of a tertiary alkyl halides okay so these are the three uh classification of alkyl halides so let me quickly give an example okay let me quickly give examples okay so the first example i can give let's say i have this guy so let's say i have this guy and this guy is having a bromine there so this guy is having bromine there so this guy can be said to be what primary this guy can be said to be primary okay how is it primary you find that the carbon of interest has only one single what has only one single arrow chain so this is my first one so let me quickly look at my second one so the second one it can be let's say i have this as my um my chain and then this chain let's say for example uh bromine is attaching itself there okay so in this case if you look at the chain there is this chain there that carbon there and that carbon they are making two carbons so this is the two degree so this is an example of a secondary okay by the way guys sorry guys there is rain so i'll i'll proceed i need to make this video and then the other one i can give an example let's say on number three so this one let's say i have one two three four and then there is also let's say there is another chain there and then on this chain on this chain there is a bond of bromide there so this is bromine there so when you look at this one you find that there is one there there is one there and there is also this last carbon there so one two three so this is an example of the what a tertiary uh alkyl highlight so ladies and gentlemen that's it for today i was just focusing on introducing alkyl highlight and also their classification thank you very much for joining me this was dr possibility from excel academy remember that excel academy is giving away an iphone 7 for those students who are going to register with us for three consecutive months starting from january make sure that you register with us and have a blessed day thank you